Thanks. Still off as far as pardon me. The sound's still off. Are we okay? Do you want to say hello to Mike Flannery? Just Mike, sound check. Hello. Hello. Hi, Senator Simon. This is Maura. Mike will be here in about thirty seconds. Okay. Thanks a lot. I'd sooner talk to you than Mike anyway. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you could pot his mic down. If you could Right here. Hold on, here's Mike. Hello, Senator. Michael, how are you? I'm fine. Good. You look good? Well, thank you. You're probably a little nearsighted, but other than that, you're doing all right. <laughs> <laughs> For once, I have you at a disadvantage here. I can see you, and you can't see me. That's correct. The, um, uh, if you are ready. I'm ready. Laura, could you just check and see? Let's make sure that we're uh, recording on this. I suspect we are, but let's triple check. You know, you're, uh, you were. If I am recalling correctly, and David Carl very generously on Friday uh, sent me some uh, historical material on this, um, you were the prime sponsor of this uh, pay demo plan, right? That is correct. Is this, is this an idea you claim as your own, or was it uh, someone else's that you uh, first brought to the halls of Congress? Well, I believe it was suggested by someone in the FAA as a way okay. to attract uh, controllers. Uh, we had a safety problem at O'Hare, as you will recall. And right, we sure did. We had yeah. a staffing problem, right? That is correct. That All is right, correct. I'm, told we're, I'm told we are recording, Senator, and we've, we've gotten your comments uh, that you've just made. But, um, you know, tell me the idea of eliminating this pay bonus plan that you initiated. How, when you heard the administration propose that, how did it make you feel? Well, my feeling is that someone just hadn't examined the issues. Because uh, while you do save a few dollars, Obviously, there are real questions raised about safety. Uh, we have had safety problems at O'Hare, and if you'll recall, back a few years ago, I asked the FAA to come in with some improvements. They came in with 102 suggestions uh, with a timetable on them, but really the linchpin in all of this is additional pay for controllers so we can get the people in Chicago. If you get the same pay for working at O'Hare, that you work, get working in Pensacola, Florida, uh, why go to O'Hare, you know, uh, where the, the responsibilities are so much greater? Well, now that they're proposing to eliminate it, I mean, we, what, what is Pena saying? What, what are his assistants telling your people? What, what is, why is, I mean, it's the 24 million bucks. It's a big ticket item. Take it out. Well, it is, a, uh, 24 million is, uh, I suppose, a big ticket item, but in fact, as you look at the overall expenditure for aviation, it is not that big an item. And uh, the safety factor, I think, compels us to continue with this program. And, and I would add, it is not simply in Chicago, it's also in New York City and Los Angeles uh, where this has been initiated. Uh, we have to pay controllers more to be in high-stress situations to, to attract experienced controllers. Okay, what will happen if they eliminate? Are you worried that safety will deteriorate? I am if, concerned. If they do eliminate it, what, what are your worries? If they eliminate it, I think we will see a, a deterioration in air safety at O'Hare as well as in LaGuardia and Los Angeles. Uh, you simply aren't going to be able to appeal to experienced people to stay in the job in those three high-tension high areas. Uh, so there is a safety factor. So I am concerned. I'm, my hope, however, is that between now and the time we pass the appropriations, 
we'll be able to get this thing worked out, and I, I will be meeting with uh, Secretary Pena on this. Well, so tell me, what, what's your next move, and what are you going to do if they hang tough? Well, I'm, I have two moves. One is to meet with the Secretary of Transportation, and I will uh, be doing that shortly. The second thing is, if they hang tough, then we'll work it out in an appropriations bill. I will talk to Senator Lautenberg of New Jersey, who uh, has been very sympathetic to this in the past, who understands because he's uh, very close to the New York City situation. What is the, uh, what, what's the worst part of this proposal to eliminate? Well, I think it, it was a decision that was made. Uh, somebody looked at a piece of paper and it looked good on a desk somewhere without examining all the realities. Uh, the, the reality is a few years ago, O'Hare turned out to be the most dangerous major airport in the nation in terms Will this make it even more dangerous? No, no. We, we have improved things. I'm pleased to say we've taken a number of steps to Im improve O'Hare, but uh, I don't think there's any question if this would stick, then uh, we would have deterioration of air safety at O'Hare. Explain that. I mean, the, the controllers, NATCA and uh, members of NATCA, tell me that uh, what would happen is staffing levels would go down. Uh, the burnout phenomenon at three to four years, which is, they say, well documented, would uh, start kicking in. And uh, pretty soon you'd be understaffed again. I mean, you p put it in your words. Wh why is this so important? You know, Mayor Daley today, by the way, was sort of saying, well, you know, gee, the thousands of dollars. He, says, I, he was down in South Chicago uh, near the, the old U.S. steel plant. And, you know, he said, hey, a lot of people in this neighborhood would take that uh, pay. Well, there are a lot of people who would take the pay. You're talking about a very technical uh, kind of a job that requires special skills, special training, and you would not only have, I think, the loss of some personnel, and that is bad enough, but you would have a loss of experienced personnel. What you would have is the experienced personnel who can uh, get a choice of where they work will go to airports and places where you don't have near the traffic, where you don't have near the responsibility, and you get paid the same amount of money. So what you have, I mean, so, so why, so how would safety be affected? So you, ha you affect safety by not having enough controllers and not having enough experienced controllers who handle those uh, unbelievably tight flights of planes. You know, they just come in one after another, another after another. If you don't have people who are experienced on the job, who know what they're doing, then uh, you could have difficulties. I hope if this uh, goes through, and I'm going to fight uh, fight this so it doesn't go through. If it should go through, I hope we don't have any accidents. But we are going to be in a greater risk situation. Tell me how. Um, I guess I guess that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that sort of 15-second soundbite format of American television. Uh, uh, Paul Simon's statement that you're going to fight this thing tooth and nail. Uh, you know, hammer and tongs. I mean, so. Uh, is this something that you feel kind of lukewarm about, or is this something you are drawing a line in the sand on? Oh, clearly I have to draw the line in the sand on this. We're going to have to fight this in every way possible. What is at stake or the possible risk of lives of people flying in and out of O'Hare? I think that did it. I think you've done this once or twice before. Yeah, all right. You know, can I ask you about the... Um, you, you may ask me about anything. As, as uh, you, you had a you had an education um, uh, victory that uh, Dave Carl was telling me about the other day right. regarding the direct payment uh, of these uh, student loans. Right. In a uh, in a nutshell, uh, what difference does that make to uh, to students and their parents? Why well, why should they care about that? Students and their parents should care because very shortly. Uh, starting in the fall of 94, we will initiate a program that by the fall of 97 will be in full-scale operation that will make it possible for hundreds of thousands of additional students to get student loans to pay back on an income contingent basis. And as taxpayers, people ought to be concerned too because their money is going to be used more wisely. We're not going to be subsidizing banks and the Student Loan Marketing Association for processing something that IRS and others can handle without that kind of subsidy. Bill Clinton's given you credit uh, on, on the education front here, the student aid uh, front. Well, can, you, can you update us on what uh, Bill and Hill are doing regarding the, uh, the uh, national volunteer
volunteer corps or whatever it was, the National Service Group that was yes. going to give you tuition if you worked it off? That, that is going to be meshed into our direct student loan program. Uh, conversations have been going on on that. A member of my staff was meeting in the White House this past weekend working on that. Uh, it will be introduced before very long uh, exactly when, I can't tell you. Can you tell us how many kids in Illinois, how many families in Illinois might have access to it, uh, you know, on, and on what timetable? You mean the direct loan or the, yeah. the, the direct the, loan? The, 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 the what? Student Service Corps here. Oh, the Student Service Corps. That I can't give you because we're, they're still talking about numbers. We're still working that out. Okay. All right. Senator, thank you very, very much. Thank you, Mike. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll talk to you later on. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.